Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome to Day in the Bay. Nick, Tony here. We got a really fun project today. Our buddy Dustin Williams, you may know him. He just picked up a Honda Civic for a daily, and yeah, we got him down here in, in the bay. Unfortunately, it had some clear coat failure. It's a really great car in good condition, but the paint had some failure in quite a bit of areas, so he went all out, got the whole car repainted. So we're gonna let you guys get to know Dustin, to talk to him, see what kind of cars he's driving right now, and share some tips on what to do with fresh paint, maybe what not to do, so looking forward to it. Be fun. All right, let's do it. All right, so brand new paint, mm -hmm. right? Uh, thirty days old. Yeah, about four weeks, thirty days or so. Okay, awesome. So there's lots of tips and tricks that we want to talk to you about today about new paint, mm -hmm. about fresh paint. Nick's going to be our our paint guru when we're finished today. Yeah. So uh, we'll look over the car today, kind of put a system together, and then we'll yeah. start digging right in. Sounds good to me. I could have said it better <laughs> myself. Nice. Yeah. So. We're going to do a traditional two bucket wash method on the car. So basically, we're going to have one bucket with our properly diluted car wash solution. We're, we're use, going to use a car wash that has no wax in it because, again, we don't want to put wax on the fresh paint for you know, a certain amount of time. So that will be our first bucket. Second, we'll be plain water. We'll use that as our rinse bucket. And we'll just get off all the dirt and loose contaminants. Justin was saying he hasn't done anything um, for about 30 days since the car's been painted. So get it all clean and then start start working on the um, compound and, and polish process. Um, marring is, you know, sometimes if you run into a softer, more sensitive paint, the in a really rare case, the clay can kind of leave behind marring. It, I guess it kind of looked like a little scratch, like a really fine kind of mar sort of scratch. Not a really huge deal because we're gonna take, um, you know, we're gonna take care of that in the the next compound step. But you just don't want to. It's just not ideal. You, you don't want to inflict too much. So this is our C2000 Professional Detailing Clay. We're going to be using most of our professional line today um, just because a lot of the products are a little bit tuned more specifically for working on, on fresh paint. So um, yeah, the car hasn't been washed for about a month or so, so that I would imagine that's why we're feeling a little bit rough on the top areas. It's pretty crazy. You can even pick up contaminants in that amount of time that, that it needs to be, to be clayed. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and, and clay just the top areas, make sure all those contaminants are off, and then move on to the compound step. <laughs> We're gonna try the rip foam first. I know you like to cut. I we both like to cut with microfiber. Just I don't know for the cutting step. Um, it typically requires a more aggressive. You know. Yep. It, you end up needing to get pretty aggressive, and we honestly end up going to the microfiber quite a bit. We're gonna try the red foam first. See how the paint responds, and who knows? This may this may do it. This is actually one of my favorite cars. There was always something about the 8th gen that I really love. Something about the body style. I was kind of more of a fan of the JDM version that had the different headlights and the different tail lights. Um, but I really wanted one of these actually. I just couldn't find one in a good condition at the time that I was ready to buy. I'd take one now if I can find one that was really clean, but it's a little bit difficult to find. Yes. All right, so we got your Civic Si in here. Right. How's it looking so far? Looks like halfway better. through, looks so good. Yeah. So good. It's crazy because it's it's brand new paint, but you can still tell like the detail that's coming out. My first car that I ever started to mod was a Honda Civic Si. It was the ninth gen. Okay. Um, so I've always been into Hondas. Really, I had a Type R, and um, I don't know for whatever reason the eighth gen is just like my favorite body style. It's the styling, the look, everything. So. 
Um, I actually wasn't looking for a car at the time. Okay. I was just, you know, every car guy, every car guy <laughs> just like browsing through all of like the marketplaces, whatever, and it popped up, and it's like the Mugen edition is like V one. Like, sure. If you want an eighth gen, so yeah. I was like, oh gosh, I did it, I did it, <laughs> and I love it. It's a fun car. Yep. It's super easy to drive, and it's exactly what I wanted. And uh, it has the Fiji blue, which okay, yeah. is the only car that the Mugen edition came in. So. Um, I thought it was only right to when I go get it repainted to get the original Fiji blue. I know every car guy doesn't like the, you know, it's like choosing your favorite child. But right. is there a favorite in the I garage? absolutely have a favorite. It's the Skyline GTR. I have mean, an R32 okay. Skyline I know GTR. It. I know it. It's, it's ever since I was a kid, you know, that's like the car and it's like the heritage of what I love in cars is like with that, you know. So yeah. like when I went to Japan, I was able to pick up a ton of like true Japanese parts from all these different shops that I went to, like Nismo, um, Garage Saurus, yeah. and all these different parts, and it's just really cool to like have like the culture from Japan back at my own shop. So it's kind of like where I like, get my inspiration from. So tell me a little bit more about kind of the hobby and what it means to you. You've you've been in it really since the beginning, and for sure, of having a license or probably even before then. For so. sure. So like I started out in Mississippi, yeah. And, I was so deeply into the car community in Mississippi that <clears throat> nothing really happened there. You know, there's you know small like local town sure. or whatever, but like no huge car show. So what I had to do when I lived in Mississippi was I would drive eight to ten hours to car events. So like dedication Miami, thing. Orlando, Dallas, whatever. And I don't know, it just <clears throat> the people you meet through the car community is it's it's just so different. Like everyone's still willing to help and you just become really, really close with them, you know, meeting them and going out to eat with all of your cars. And you like sit in that one spot where you can see all your cars in the yeah, line, yeah. you know? So like, it's just really cool. And like, you get to like bond with each other over like building these cars in the garage late at night. So yeah. one of my friends, Sean, you know, we built his NSX set in his garage and my WX and Evo. And so it's, it's cool that just spending time with, you know, good friends and like, it's accomplishing when you're like finishing and pull a car out of the garage and sure. you guys are just like, Yes. <laughs> well, thanks for coming out today. Absolutely. We're thanks super excited to have the car. I'm excited to see what it's going to look like at the end. Me too. Me too. And uh, we're looking forward to, to seeing you on the road. Absolutely. I know the next couple of events uh, we'll see in Chicago. Absolutely. And we'll be That'll be awesome. That'll be really so, cool. So, yeah, whenever we'll you guys are going to have the car. So, awesome. it's going to be really fun. Cool. Well, thanks, brother. Yes, thanks Appreciate for having me. So last step, this is our M305 Ultra Durable Finishing Glaze. It's basically a breathable silicone free protection for fresh paint. On, on fresh paint, it's typically not recommended to apply a wax or any sealant for 60 to 90 days sometimes. So this is a great option. It can give you some protection during that step and still allow the paint to outgas um, and give us some protection during that, that curing process. So easy application, a couple quick overlapping passes. We're using a black finishing pad doesn't even have to dry, you can wipe it right off and we're good to go. Well Dustin, we're done. I, I, I think we're done. Man. It looks incredible. It looks so good. It's crazy because like, it one is a brand new paint job, you know, and I can definitely, definitely tell the difference between coming out of paint with to now and it's... That was my thing, like, how are we gonna make a brand new paint job look this much better? Yeah. But you did, you did. I mean, Nick, I, I mean, you guys. Are yeah. you happy with the results? I'm, it was so fun to work on, and yeah, it looks so much, it looks really good. It's, yeah, it's, it's crazy. Every part of the car, it's crazy. So are you sure you want to give the car away now? <laughs> no. <laughs> Same thought. No, no, no. I think someone's really, really gonna enjoy this. You guys absolutely killed it. I mean, the car is mint now. So that's awesome. Couldn't well, have anything better. I'm looking forward to seeing it out on the road. I know you're having it for a couple more months, so yeah, yeah. we'll, we'll see it out it. there. And uh, thanks again for coming. Sure. Yeah. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Thank you guys. Yeah.